Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm going to see if I can remove this big stump with the tree puller on my skid loader. And in my experience, pulling tree stumps is always dramatically more difficult than it looks. They've got much stronger root systems than you might expect, and I think this is going to be a big challenge, but I think it'll also be a lot of fun. So let's see how it goes. I'm playing this footage at four times speed, which should give you a pretty good idea of how long it takes to dig out this stump. I've done a lot of stump removal videos with a lot of different equipment, so I've got a pretty good idea what the comment section is going to be like. So I'll go ahead and respond to a few of those comments now. If you're going to tell me that this is not the right machine for this job, you're right. But it is the machine that I have. I have a ton of money invested in the equipment that I own, so I prefer not to rent any more than I have to. So it feels like good news, bad news so far. I'm breaking large diameter roots with very little effort on the on the skid loader. It's just plowing right through them. The bad news is it just it it only has that two and a half, three foot of reach on it. So it's not gonna get to all the roots the way I'm doing it right now. Big stumps like this are really not what this tree puller is designed for. This is a perfect tool for removing a lot of small trees really quickly. Like the saplings that are in the background, you can take out hundreds of those in an hour and not leave any stumps behind, which is the perfect use for this. But I had one video where I dug out like a 14 inch diameter stump and everyone was saying, why don't you try that on a real stump or whatever? And this is a really big oak stump. And I thought it would be a good challenge just to see what it's capable of. Not necessarily advising that you do this all the time. If you were removing this size stump on a regular basis, I would advise to get the right tool for the job, which is an excavator or a bulldozer. But for occasional use, it's doing a great job breaking those big roots. Mm-hmm. 
If you're wondering about this specific tree puller, it's made by Precision Manufacturing. And that is a locally owned small business that makes fantastic products. I've got a discount code to save you 5% on this tree puller or any of the Precision Manufacturing products at agfolks.com. So I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check that out. Now if you're wondering about the track loader that I'm using, it's a John Deere 325G. That is a 75 horsepower, 9,500 pound machine, and I believe it has around 7,000 pounds of breakout force, even though the rated operating capacity is around 2,900 pounds. That is only 30% of the tip rating. The roots I'm breaking with this are enormous. Some of them are every bit of 8 to 10 inch diameter. And my little tractor backhoe would not have broken those roots. When I've dug these kinds of stumps out with the backhoe before, it either takes a lot more time or I have to get down and actually cut those largest roots. I mentioned I was playing this video clip at four times speed. And there's about 10 minutes of digging here. So it really did take about 40 minutes from the time I started to the time the stump was out of the ground. And we're almost there, as you can see it just starting to wiggle. At this point, I've broken all of the roots that come out away from the stump, but it's still not loose. So if you notice on the top of the jaws, you have a, like a serrated cutting edge and you can essentially use it like a knife and you'll see that I start kind of sawing into the base of the stump below grade and I actually end up breaking it off as much as I pull it out. Thank 
Well, I smoothed it back out a little bit, and I really, this is gonna take another day of cleanup at some point. I might have to bring a rock bucket down here because this ground's just so rocky. You uncover all these big rocks and you can't smooth it back out after a project's done. But we did accomplish the task today, which was getting rid of that stump. Now, if I knew that it was gonna break off the way it did, because I got most of the stump out. I got it below grade removed, but part of it just broke off. If I knew that was going to happen, I would have been tempted. And maybe the most efficient thing here would have been to cut it off as low as possible with the chainsaw and just put dirt on it. But I like to remove the stumps when I do the tree. So I guess we'll call it a success. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.